All right, it's June 30th, June is over, and you know what that means, it's time for the fundraiser video for the St. Jude Marathon. Uh, so this was a you call it month, which was cool. We allowed the donors to um, to pick whatever they wanted to do to uh, to match their donations. So what that resulted in is me needing to do a bunch of fitness activities and eating challenges and stuff. Um, so I, I can't even remember everything that I'm gonna be doing. There's too many of them. But, so what do we have on the docket today? So I'm gonna be eating a, uh, a whole jar of adobo grasshoppers, 10 pimento cheese sausage meatballs, uh, 300 chickpeas, 300 black beans, 300 lima beans, uh, 20 live earthworms, a little bit nervous for that, uh, an entire loaf of bread without liquid, and a durian fruit. And the fitness aspect of that is I also got challenged to, before I do all of this eating, I'm going to do like a mini sprint triathlon. So. Um, I haven't really figured out which order I'm going to do the foods yet. That might be like a game time decision. But the first thing is first, we're going to do this mini sprint triathlon right now. swim is done, it's time for the six mile bike ride now. Let's do it. Woohoo, go for it. All right, six mile bike is done. I'm gonna go do my three mile run. We'll get back here and then it'll be time to eat. Almost there. Yay! I'm recording you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am white. Alright, let me catch my breath, grab something to drink, and we're gonna start soon. Alright, people, look at this beautiful view I was trying to give you today. The view of the table, the view of this nice new Memphis sign that they installed here on Mud Island Park, and the, silent, the skyline on this hot Memphis sunny day. But I just did a lot of physical activity and I don't feel like uh, risking dehydration in this heat here. All my helpers are also sweating to death. This is no good. So we're gonna still try and give you a view of the skyline, but we're gonna move somewhere where there is a little more shade. So hold on just a minute. All right, it's time. We're gonna get started eating here. Uh, I've lined them up in the order in which I wanna eat them. We're gonna start with 20 live earthworms. Uh, we're then going to move on to the chapulines, uh, the sausage pimento cheese meatballs. We've got 300 black beans, 300 lima beans, 300 garbanzo beans, an entire loaf of bread, no liquid while I'm eating the bread, and we're going to finish with durian. Um, I want to say huge thank you to the donors for this. This video generated over $500 in donations for St. Jude, so that is pretty remarkable. Um, but now, now that the donations have been uh, submitted, it's my turn to put up my end of the deal and uh, eat all of this stuff. So, God, let's start with these earthworms. All right, here goes. Oh, 
was not so bad. Ah, oh, that one moved a lot more. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Ones are done. Let's move on to some uh, much tastier critters. These are uh, adobo spiced grasshoppers. Let's go. These are quite good actually. Garbanzo beans just, and black beans. <laughs>
do it without taking drinks. I got pretty far, but that sucked. That was really tough to do uh, without constant saliva going in your mouth. But we're on the last one now. It's the, uh, the durian. And so first off, it's a crazy looking fruit when it's in its uh, you know unprepared form. Um, apparently the deal with this is that I, I guess it's genetic, but most people think it smells like rotting garbage or onions or fish or something. And a small percentage of the population actually enjoys it and says it's a very uh, succulent, fruity flavor. So that's why it's packaged up so nicely is because apparently this is going to smell to something fierce. So uh, we're going to unwrap it, see how bad it is, and we're going to eat one of these and uh, we're going to be done with it. So let's find out. <laughs> I'm afraid to smell it. And remember, if it's still frozen, that's my fault. So my yeah, bad. I can already smell. <laughs> I think they're individually wrapped too, right? That's incredible because this is already super pungent. Yeah. Oh, they're smell individually it? wrapped. Yeah. I hope it tastes good. This smells so bad. Oh God. <laughs> Just take a small bite. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> bad. The taste is actually not too bad. If you, the smell, you gotta hold your nose. That's really weird. So strange how it, the taste is so different from the smell. So please continue donating to all my friends who haven't hit their goals. We still got uh, five more months until the St. Jude Marathon. I guess I got some running training to do also. Um, but yeah, this. I hope you guys had more fun than I did with this because the worms were a little funky. The road was terrible. This was surprisingly good despite having smelled absolutely disgusting. But uh, this is the Branimal and that was the June St. Jude fundraiser video. Um, thanks for watching and... Check in next time.